Welcome everyone to today's video. The other day I stopped at my parents and to produce future YouTube content I also took a couple of more things from the basement including an old and vintage five and a quarter inch floppy drive and floppies. Back in the day I never liked them so much. I think I mostly used them before we got the color graphics on our 386 and hard drive and I never quite liked them. I personally found this three and a half inch floppies just more stable and sophisticated and compact so I mostly preferred those and I mostly use those. No real memories about the reliability of those. It would be interesting to know if the big floppies would be more reliable given they had more surface area to write to. If you have experience with this it would be awesome if you leave comments below. Anyway so let's switch the 386 on and I connected this Actually, I already removed a shield plate here. Apparently already in 2000 I wrote here with a marker that it was working. However, when I started it up some minutes ago it didn't work anymore. It started to read the floppy, but it didn't get more than a directional listing out of it. Reading anything more substantial had this head slamming here into the back and it wasn't uh, reading anything more and uh, making quite hard noise. I should always film this but the problem is in the meantime I fill up storage space here quite quickly with videos so it's always a balance of filming everything and not having it on camera but I also thought this cheap floppy I rather throw it away than tinkering with it however I was actually really able to fix it with WD-40 actually so I cleaned with a q-tip here is this, this axle and drive spindle. So I wiped this with a Q-tip and then I lubricated it with WD-40 because what's good for your car can't be so bad for your floppy drive, right? And this really fixed it. Unfortunately I don't have a before video. So that didn't work before. Um, it only could read the very first sector that's the beginning or something. So just a tip and also I saw that this is by the way Panasonic Matsushita device or so and they apparently sometimes sell for 50 or 70 dollar on eBay. I find this a little bit crazy high. Thanks God we had this old thing in the basement because I for sure would not want to spend so much money for floppy and also again a warning as I said with the real to real videos already if you buy stuff from eBay you can often have bad luck and get it in not really working condition but in case of the floppies it may be as simple as cleaning and lubricating this excel there. I hope this can help some people and don't forget to share like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next videos and updates.